Hey everybody, this is Mike from Mike's Dark Helmet Minecraft server. We're about to add a stock market plugin and I want to do quickly take you through how that works and hopefully explain a little bit of how stocks work just in case you're you're unsure. This is a great plugin. I've I somebody else had started this. Um, I've taken it. I've actually added uh, a lot of features. I've tweaked it a little bit to kind of suit our needs better. But uh, here I am on the test server. That way we're not bombarded by lots of chat but so we have this stock plugin and if you type SM list this is going to list a bunch of companies that are current are currently selling stocks and granted this is pretend but it's all based off of real world stuff so here we have a list of, of three companies we're just gonna look at the the middle one there CRFT so CRFT stands for Crafties. Crafties is a store that we have on our server. It's a great store if you've never seen it. Sells practically everything. Um, buys uh, a decent amount of stuff. So Crafties, it, its stock price is at $45.48. What this means is that as a, as a person, as an individual, you can buy as many stocks of a company as you want. But what is a stock? What are you getting? Well, technically, you are loaning Crafties that money. So, let's say if I do SM by CRFT, that's Crafties uh, abbreviation code, that's their ticker code, we can say uh, I'm going to buy, one, I'll just do one share, keep it nice. Oh, and just like that, the price went up. So, every once in a while, now I have this accelerated so that we don't have to sit here waiting forever. Uh, we get a message here. So Crafties announced the product was a huge success. Customers are extremely satisfied. So in the real world, what makes a stock price go up is when a company's doing something right. When it has great sales, when it's just coming out with a brand new product, when it's opening up new stores or maybe hiring a bunch of good people. What drives the stock price down is when the company is screwing up. Maybe the thing that they created that everybody thought was cool did not sell. Maybe they had a, a problem and everybody had to return it. Right? Something the company does wrong. Maybe the, the guy who, who drives the company leaves the company. People are always like, well, what's going to happen with the company? So when there's something bad, the stock price goes down. The value of that goes down. So I bought my one crafty stock when it was at 47 bucks. That means that I'm kind of lending crafties my 47 bucks. Crafties can use that money to do something. The goal is to do something better, to open a new store, to add products, to hire good people. The company's goal with that, that loaned money is to make the company better and make more money. The goal for me is I want to sell when Crafty's, when the price goes up. So I bought it at $47. Then Crafty's announced a new product was a huge success. Customers are satisfied. The Crafty's price went up. Check it out, $48. Now if I type SM list mine, it's just going to show me the stocks that I own. So I've got 48 bucks. That's how much the price is. I paid 47.71. I bought two stocks. Well, I, I had one. I bought another one. So uh, the difference is 39 cents each stock. So if I sold right now, I could make 78 cents. Woohoo! Now the goal of this is you don't just buy one stock. You buy a hundred stocks. You buy a thousand stocks. You buy as many as you can afford. If you think that stock is going to go up, and it's low, then buy lots. Now, 78 cents isn't that much of a difference, but if two days from now Crafty shoots up to 60 bucks a share, I could make tons of money, and that's the goal. You want to buy when the prices are low, wait for the stock prices to go up, and then sell. But what could happen is that something bad could happen. Let's see what we can do. This is only something that I can run, so uh, let's force a random event to happen. Let's keep doing it till we get a Crafty's bad one. 
Okay, Crafty's announced a new product. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, it went up again. Went up again to $48.31. So now I could make a dollar. Wow. So let's keep forcing randoms. Crafty's announced a new round of hiring. Nope. Crafty's had a fantastic quarter. Wow. Really, let's check it out. Wow, now the price is up to 49 bucks. I could make $4 off my two shares. $4 isn't much, but let's say I had bought 2,000 shares rather than two. That's a big difference. So let's keep uh, let's keep this up here. All right, so Crafty's just announced that they are replacing their current CEO who has a bad reputation. So the good guy was fired. Uh, a bad dude's coming in. Let's check out what the Crafty's price is up to. So it's uh, 50 bucks. So it went up uh, several times, then it went down a little bit, but now I can make five dollars. There could be times when the stock price keeps dropping and dropping and dropping, so it's up to you to figure out should I sell now or should I wait until Crafty's starts going up again and then sell. It's kind of a gamble. It's a risk. It's something that you're investing in. Now in a game like this, Crafties isn't actually getting the money, none of things happening. It's just a random chance of a good thing or a bad thing. But I've been playing with it for the past two days, and let me tell you, it's exciting as heck. So let's say, all right, I'm ready to sell. So I can do SM sell, CRFT. I have two stocks, so I'll sell two. I sold them for 50 bucks each. Now I only bought them for $47, so I just made a $5 profit. I check out money. Uh, I guess I never showed you the money before, but I u I started with a hundred bucks, made some nice profit off of that. So that's what stocks are. Now there's going to be some other features that we're adding in here. So uh, for example, I can do SM list history. That'll show me the actual uh, purchase and sell changes. This is something I'm still working on, but shows I bought two crafties at forty-seven bucks. I sold them later at fifty bucks. The cool thing with this is we're actually recording the stock price change over time. So soon on our website, our so awesome website, you guys have all seen it, right? You're, you're on the forums. I know you are. We're going to add awesome stuff like charts. You can see charts of stock prices going up and down over time. I really want to add something that allows us to see who's making the most money off of these stock prices, who's losing the most money. So these are all features. These are things that I've added in. The stock plugin that comes uh, as it is now does not have any of these features. That only allows you to buy and sell, etc. So hope you enjoy. Hope you learned a little bit about stocks. Hopefully you're interested in looking up stocks. So uh, it's real stuff. Go go look it up. It's fun. Anyway, thanks for watching.